Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to the second part of this beautiful tutorial. And I hope you remembered or if uh, you have watched the first part, if you haven't, please go and check out the first part. So in the first part, we created this awesome design. And now in the second part, we will learn how to animate it. So we will animate it using Morph Transition, one of the most beautiful component of Microsoft PowerPoint. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership. So this is where we left in the first part. And now we have to move further. So duplicate the slide. Now let's duplicate this card. And for that, you just have to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then place it here. Now select and duplicate it again and place it here. Now we have three copies. Now you can. Now let's group the items and after that duplicate and place this as shown on the screen. So I have placed only six cards here you can place more now let's add some nice images on each of these cards so i have skipped that part it's easy you can add the images here so it's done now let's add some custom title like subscribe join the membership share learn like videos so you can add as per the topic of your slide and also make sure the images are not stretched you can adjust them using the offset values in the format option so now the information cards are ready now select all these cards and adjust them now let's insert this circle fill gradient color increase its size and adjust its width and set it to back so it's behind this eye shape that we had created so now it will look like this so let's again slightly increase the width of this circle now let's check and it looks fine now now remove the extra now let's remove the extra portion of this circle by using the merge shapes option and there you can subtract it with the rectangle shape so you can use more shapes option to create custom shapes. So now we are left with the required portion only. So let's zoom in to the slide. Now let's insert the text or the slide headline. So I took the inspiration from eye, human eye. So this design resembles with human eye if you see so that's why I've written the text I but here you can add the title of the slide and here you can write some description like company objectives or goals or business objectives so you can write the information make sure the title is small with limited keywords now select all these cards and slightly move them to the right so that there is enough breathing space now duplicate this arc and flip it horizontally increase its width and now we will 
adjust the transparency to 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 gel it with the background so now you can see it's looking nice and the focus is on the circle at the center and the text and here you can add the branding like the logo of a company so i'm just writing text here cv means creative venus but you can add the text here or the logo of the company meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't and you can also like this video and do not forget to download this template from the G drive link provided in the video description. So please first learn how to create the video and then download then it will be more helpful for you. So now we have to add a layer here and we have to do the masking so slightly overlap it, it with the right arc of the circle and send to back and bring all the elements forward and this white overlay should be at the back now insert a circle and remove its outline increase its height because we want to subtract the white layer reduce the width and you can place it like this make sure it's in the middle select the background and the circle and subtract using merge options and extend it to the right slightly increase the transparency so that you can see the background now insert this rounded rectangle and again we will subtract this white overlay now we have to subtract this rounded rectangle from the uh, white overlay and you will get the masking like this and only one card is visible and that's all we want it so here you can add some text and you can also add text at the bottom as well but i have kept it empty so that you can add as per the slide requirement now select all these cards and group them together by pressing ctrl plus g on windows or command plus g in mac and move the grouped items outside of the slide area and here you can write the first text you want to be visible on the first slide like some starting point something something or some quote can be added so i've just written let's begin but you can write as per the requirement and let's place it somewhere like here and and now group all the items together information cards and this let's begin text once you have grouped now duplicate the slide select this whole group and by using up arrow key move the group upwards until the first card is visible now duplicate the slide again move upward by one card and repeat the steps until you reach the last information card so the steps are simple you have to use up key and q 
keep moving this whole group up and duplicate the slide each time also you can place the guides to mark the exact location where you want to place the card like i have done you can see these thin lines i have placed now i have copied the let's begin text and i have placed it on this i have pasted it on the second last slide and this will become our thank you note or the last message that you want to showcase when the scroll will end so on the eighth slide you have to place it outside of the screen area and on the ninth slide you have to place it on its exact location at the center where you want it to appear make sure all the slides are selected and morph animation is selected under the transitions tab and now let's see yep it's working fine and only one last step is remaining this eye on the left also needs some treatment in terms of animation so you can do lots of things here but i have done very simple thing and that is rotation with each slide it will rotate but you can try lots of things and you can share your thoughts in the comment section so on each slide just rotate this eye by certain degrees I'm just testing one thing like if all the cards are working fine yep so let's move on to the second slide and rotate I on each slide So the steps are simple you just have to click on that rotation button at the top the rotation point and just move it with your mouse and now you can see it has start rotating with the slides You can adjust the rotation like how many or how much it should rotate with each slide so we have reached the end of this second part so i hope you like this video and you must have learned how to create such beautiful awesome slides in powerpoint so you can also try and share your slide decks with me so if you have liked our video please hit the subscribe button please like the video share this video subscribe to our channel and join the membership to support us so we will see you guys in our next video with more amazing concept and i'm also working on a beautiful excel dashboard which i'll be completing soon so see you guys in our next video bye bye